best things about the internet is that you can watch a video from 40 years ago and get fired up as if it was a hot new topic. I don't like guns at all. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Oh! <laughs> BuzzFeed has a popular series called The Try Guys, and a few years ago these four happening dudes happened to try out shooting some guns at a gun range. That seems great! Why would it make you upset? Because off the jump, a couple of them go, oh, I want to see why masculinity and guns have to be interlinked. I question why as a society we consider guns masculine. Why do guns and masculinity always get brought up in the conversation by people who know little or nothing about both? Because maybe there is something to like masculinity and guns. Why does it have to be masculine? Why can't it be feminine? Aren't there like tens of millions of gun bunnies out there? flashing their tits and pistols around Instagram. Pew, 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 pew. So I don't know where you're coming from with this toxic masculinity. It just seems close-minded and rude. Having these four 30-year-old man children try to tell me what guns are like and anything about masculinity is like trying to have an elephant teach me how to play piano. Why can't the Try Guys Try and teach me something masculine. Why don't you try to connect with the millions of families out there that has a parent that happens to be a tradesman, like a plumber or a carpenter or an electrician. How about the Try Guys try to put together a breaker box or try to put together some PVC pipe for a drain or put in a toilet or try to put up cabinets. Something useful instead of trying sushi or giving me your bullshit opinion on things that I know more about then you know about your own butthole. But I digress. Let's go ahead to the video and talk about the wonders of firearms training these dopes get. I don't have a negative opinion about guns. I do have negative opinions about people. Huh, I agree with that. I've been invited to a gun range before with friends and I've said no and I've just sat in the car outside of the gun range while they shot guns. I mean you tall, goofy, pansy. Are you seriously going to act like a jaded 14-year-old girl who just got her phone taken away? I'm going to sit in the car. I'm upset because mom and dad took my phone. You have all the fun. I'm going to sit here and mope. That'll show him. Eagle Scout, I was raised in the South. I've shot a lot of guns. 22 rifle, 10-gauge shotgun, 12-gauge shotgun, Desert Eagle, and another type of handgun that I don't remember. Who are you? It was you? my bachelor party. You have good friends. You grew up around guns, you know how to handle them properly. You should be able to go to a gun range and fire military grade weapons. Well, I agree with that. You could die. What? Wow, I'm glad you could record and shove that sentence randomly in there without any context at all. Things sure haven't changed, BuzzFeed. And I'm ready, this is live. That's live, right? Guys, I'm gonna sh oh! The first bullet went off and I jumped. I was not ready for it. If you weren't ready for it, why did you have your booger hook on the trigger? You want to know when guns are dangerous? When they're put in the hands of people who know nothing about them. Where is the range safety when this happens? Are you telling me this guy wasn't given a block of instruction so that negligent discharges don't happen? Oh, or it's just the gun's fault, right? It's the gun that randomly went off. Not his fault. It's not his fault, guys. Assault rifles are actually easier to shoot than handguns. There's hardly any kick because it goes so fast. What was that? That's the most idiotic thing I think I've ever heard about weapons in my entire life. There's hardly any kick because it goes so fast. No, 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 my friend. There are many reasons. The weight of the weapon, how you hold it compared to a pistol. How about the buffer spring and the weapon that you're holding? the piece of equipment inside the rifle that's specifically meant to reduce the amount of recoil. But no, we're gonna go with the speed. Ow. These are military grade weapons whose oh, only man. purpose is to kill people, to kill a lot of people very fast, very effectively. Each time you're pulling the trigger, that's another life you could be taking. Guns are a tool. They have always been a tool. You give the weapon purpose. If you want to hunt with it, its purpose is for hunting. If you want to use it as self-defense, its purpose is for self-defense. Just because I rent a U-Haul truck and drive it through the middle of New York City and run over 50 people doesn't mean that the truck's purpose is automatically to kill a bunch of people. I'm from. I think my body went on a high yeah. and I just completely turned into this like very primitive, basic creature. Oh my God. You're so dramatic. You didn't turn into anything. You were still the same dude. You just got all jazzed up because you were excited to do something new. Just repeat shoot like that. You're almost afraid of yourself. That sounds like a personal issue. Me taking the safety off could have killed someone. Oh! 
Stop putting your finger on the trigger when you're not ready to shoot. You want to know how to stop that? Stop doing this. Stop doing that and that weapon is going to be perfectly fine. Oh, totally fine. Safe, not safe. Safe, not safe. Safe, not safe. Do you get it? Let's get a hug. Let's yeah, get a hug real quick. Oh, I'm leather him. God. This became like an adult toy. Guns are not toys. Okay, not so bad. I mean, definitely not a toy, but okay. Oh, every time. It's like punching me in the arm. Now that I've done it, I get it. It's exhilarating. Oh, hell yeah. We just got to teach you that trigger discipline, all right? Safe, not safe. Safe, you got it. I'm really glad I did it. I've not done it so many times because I was afraid, but I faced my fear, and I think it's totally fine to shoot any kind of gun in a gun range. Oh, look at this guy coming around. That's right. You get out of that car. You got your phone privileges back. Get out of here. It changed me. I don't think that... I'm as pro-gun as I used to be. And what in the world changed you? Was it Tiny's trigger discipline? I can understand that. I might have kids one day. There's no way that my kids are responsible gun owners. An accident is bound to happen. Is your sperm so useless that your offspring is automatically gonna run towards a loaded firearm and suck start that thing? Or do you think that you, as a responsible adult, should teach them a little bit about gun safety and what to do when they come across a firearm? If you practice a reasonable amount of gun safety, none of these accidents that you're worried about are ever going to happen. Now, at the end of this, I give them props. They've tried new things and expanded their knowledge and experience with something that they and many people across the United States incorrectly find intimidating. But I still wouldn't call on any of them if I needed to change a tire.